Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a tool that I stumbled upon a couple weeks ago, I have been playing around with it, and I have been extremely happy with it. And I thought I would share it with all of you in case you are paying for a cross listing program. This program that I am using is 100% free. Or if you are not cross posting to other platforms, I highly encourage you to do it. And here is a free way to do it. And it actually saves you quite a bit of time if you are copy and pasting. So what I'm talking about is a program here called Flip, F-L-Y-P. You can go to, um, well, I guess joinflip.com, I think is the website. But here I am where I've already created an account. I have been cross posting, like I said, for the last couple weeks. And I wanted to show you how, it e how easy it is and how you can do it yourself. So once you've created an account, there is a setting where you kind of, well, I guess, let me see if I can find it. I wasn't going to show this, but account connections. Yeah, I'll show it to you just in case. Um, all right, so here under uh, settings, you go to account connections and you can connect the, the platforms that you want to um, sell on. Or if you already have an account, that's what you need to do. If you don't have an account, you'll need to go create one. So for instance, I cross post to Poshmark. I start everything on eBay and then I import it into Flip. You can start it on Flip or you can start it on Poshmark or Macari or Facebook or whatever and then import it in. But eBay has the most item specifics, the most information you got to fill out. So for me, it's just so much easier to just start on eBay. And for me, eBay is 100% the platform I put everything on. There are some things you can't put on Poshmark. There are some things you can't put on 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 uh, Macari, like food. You can't put food on Macari. There are things you can't put on Etsy because Etsy has to be either a supply, handmade, or a vintage item. So connect all of your platforms, which again are simple, simple, easy. And then you can start, as it says right here, start cross-listing. So what I did from the beginning is I imported items from eBay which I'm going to show you what you do is you just click on eBay. It is going to import some items from your eBay store and you can import only 20 items at a time. So depending on how big your store is, it could take a while to import everything. But there are some things that I have already cross posted. So I'm not as worried about importing them right now as I am the newer things that I have listed. So here are some things that I currently have on eBay, some pieces of games, a puzzle. So this type of thing. So I'm going to go and so like this, you can see how it's kind of um, like grayed out and it says re-import. These have already been imported into my flip account. So they've already have been cross posted and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll just choose one of these up here and then I'll just choose something that has already like this longer burger basket liner. So what I would do is I would click this box and choose 20 items and then import all 20 at a time. But saving you time, I only did one. And I'm going to take this longer burger basket. Let me actually take something I know that I have not posted already on other websites. All right, so these, let me see. I should have figured it out before I did this. I think, was it this I just listed? No, I didn't. Hold on. Let me do a couple more pages. I just listed some stuff yesterday. So I thought, okay, these teacups, we'll do these. So these teacups right now are just on eBay. So like for instance, right here, this handbag, this has already been cross posted to other platforms. And what you can do is you can find those on those platforms. I'll just show you how to do that. So if you already have stuff cross posted, like I have been using this perfectly. I've used Vendo in the past, Vendu in the past. This is most like Vendu. Right, let me put in fur, cause I know that is a fur purse. Oh, I have not cross posted it. Okay, so that's easy enough. I can do that. Um, all right, so let's do this purse right here. So what you do is you click on this. Uh, I'll just show this again. So you can delete it if you wanted to take it out of your inventory. You can mark it as sold. Uh, so if you sell something, you can mark it as sold, which we'll go back and do that after. I'll see if I can find something that has sold recently and we can mark it as sold. 
So when you open up Flip and you click on the item that you want to cross post, it gives you the universal form. And what I do is I just go through and make sure my title, uh, if I have imported from eBay, for some reason it doesn't want to give you the line breaks in your description. So I will go ahead and add those uh, with a sweater texture and then I'll say unbranded. Please review all photos. Okay. And then the brand, I just make sure all this looks good. The primary color, because some of the platforms you're going to cross post to will ask you the colors that you have. And same with tags, if you wanted to put in tags, I'll just put in like fur purse, um, faux fur handbag, like whatever you would normally put in for tags. Then you can have a note to yourself if you want to do that. I don't usually do that. Package weight, your dimensions, your listing price. You can put in the cost of your item because there are some analytics which you can see up here in the top where you can see how much you've made and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that. I have another um, section or program that I use for that. So then I hit save and it says right here, great successfully saved item. Then I go back up and I say, okay, where do I want to cross post it? So I'm going to cross post it to Poshmark. And then I just want to show you here, this is where you can mark it as listed. So had I already seen it listed on Poshmark, I can mark it as listed. And then you just put the listing URL. So I would have copied it from Poshmark and put it here and saved it. And it would have already marked it as being listed on Poshmark. The other thing is you can list an item for Poshmark. But again, I don't do that. I list on eBay and then I import it into uh, flip and then cross post. All right, so here we are in Poshmark. You can see up here it says Poshmark form. And then this is the information that Poshmark would need to get things listed. So I go down, I need the category. So I think it's under women's bags. Let's see, handbag, shoulder bag. Yeah, we'll call it a shoulder bag. It always blinks twice, so you have to wait for it to like refresh, do this blinky thing on the size before you can click it. And then I just say one size. I never know the original price of most of my items. I put that as zero. And then list on Poshmark. If you want to do discounted shipping, you can do that here. I don't do that. So I just click list on Poshmark. I really like that it shows here that I'll, learn, I'll earn $12.71 if this sells on Poshmark. That is nice to always see that. And see it says it can take up to 30 seconds. Don't close your browser. Just watch this down here in the right corner. Now you can see it's listed because now it's saying do you want to delist it on Poshmark. You can view the listing and then you can save it. So then I'll go back up and I'll say okay let's list it on Macari also. Then I click Macari and it says Macari form. And of course Macari hold on what you doing why are you refreshing doesn't normally do that uh, I don't even know the brand so no brand brown see the tags I put in on the the flip draft whatever it automatically put it over here into tags for Poshmark and I'm going to put I'm, I'm assuming it's under women's again I don't know our purse is under here yep yeah, handbags and let's see, we'll just do another shoulder bag. And then who do you want to pay? So um, delivery method, Macari shipping, my zip code. Who do you want to pay for shipping? Buyer, two pounds. And then how does the buyer want to get it? Wow, it's not giving me FedEx, the other FedEx. Let me just do a 15. I'm going to change it to like those priority mailboxes which is by three. That's the box I like to use. All right, so there is a FedEx. I'm just going to choose this one. I'll put it in a poly bag and mail it. 15, so I'll earn $13 on this platform. You can turn on smart pricing if you want. I don't do that, so I'm going to click on list on Macari. You can also just save it at this point if you don't want to list it right now. I'm waiting for that to refresh. Uh, there is going to be a link down below, as you can see, get $10. There's a link down in my subscription or my d description. If you want to try out Flip, again, it's free, 100% free. 
click that link and I will earn $10, which I appreciate. Help support making these types of videos. Uh, this will, there you go, it'll pop in. So now we can see that it is listed on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. I haven't been doing Facebook lately because I haven't been very good. This is probably, I don't know about this, but it's probably vintage. So I probably could list it on Etsy also. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because I am logged. I have four different Etsy accounts and you have to be logged into the Etsy account that you want to use. And I'm currently not logged into the appropriate one for vintage items. Um, they have Depop and Shopify coming soon, which I will tell you with Shopify, I had a Shopify store that I just closed down a couple months ago and I was doing the middle, I think it's the middle level of list per perfectly, which I, I don't remember how much it is, but it's, it was up there in price just because I could cross post to Shopify. But once I closed my Shopify, I dropped down to like the $30 level of list perfectly. And then I found this and I'm like, why would I not use this? This is so good. All right, so let me go. I had some sales on eBay today. Let's see if there's anything that I can take down off from eBay. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have any of this listed on eBay. I don't, I mean on um, Flip. So I can't take them down, but I was gonna show you how easy it is. So let's say this right now is listed on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. And I could just click on this, say Mark has sold. It's gonna to want to say like, okay, I sold it on eBay. How much did you sell it for? I don't even know how much I have it listed for. Let's say just say $12. If you wanted to, you could put in your cost of goods, your marketplace fees, your shipping costs. You can put in all of this and then utilize the um, the analyzing stuff, which I'll show you that page. I don't use it, but I'm obviously not going to mark this as sold right now because I don't have it sold, but it will take it off from these platforms. I highly suggest you go and double check the platforms and make sure that it took it off just because I've seen where people said that, that it doesn't always do that. So I, I just think it's a really good idea to, for you to double check that. Uh, so that is how simple, like how easy it is to cross post, right? Like this, I'll do this right here because I don't think I have this one listed. How easy is this to do? Let's cross post this. So again, we're going to come down here, Mickey Mouse lovely security blanket, blankie, color blue. I just sit here and do this, satin trim, 15 square, 15 what, 15 inches? <laughs> is it 15 inches square? I don't know. What's that mean, 15 square? Yeah, 15 inches. It dropped the inches that's up here in the title. Okay, so then I'm going to say primary color is blue. I mean, would it be nice if it grabbed that already from the item specifics on eBay? It would be, but it is really quick. I'm not even going to put any tags because honestly, most of the time I don't. We're going to save it. I'm going to go up here, going to click on Poshmark. I know I just have to go down here to category. Is it under home or kids? Which one would it, would it be under? Probably home, I'm thinking. Let's try home. Bedding? I don't know. It's a blanket. It's a kid's blanket, though. I'll just put blanket. U.S. standard. Oh, okay. So maybe it's not bedding. I guess this is the something you would have Anyhow, you would sit there and try and figure out where does something go. How about if I just put it under accessories? Let's see under kids accessories. Bags, blankets, bibs. All right, I'm just going to say none. We're just going to stick it here. Because I don't know how many people shop. For, oh, and I hate in the kids section on Poshmark that you have to choose boy or girl. There's so much stuff that I sell that is generic, like unisex. It can be boy or girl. Uh, and then let's just list it. So I dislike that so much that they do that on Poshmark. All right, just waiting. Here we go. See how quick that was. Macari. Come over here to Macari. Disney Baby added it automatically because it picked it up from the title. Let's see how easy it is here for bathing and skin care. Do they have blankets? Diapering, feeding, gear. Would it be under gear maybe? Nursery? 
bedding? It's not really bedding, but we'll put it there. All right, buyer pays eight ounces, UPS ground, USPS, I guess you'd say ground advantage, and cement. I will say one thing that this does not do is it does not pull over multi-quantity. If you've got more than one item, you have to know that you've got more of one. So if you're going to cross post it to Poshmark or Etsy um, or Facebook, and you can have more than one item where Macari doesn't matter. You can only list one at a time. Then you have to know that to go ahead and do that. So that's that's what I do but yeah so you can sit there and you can see where you've cross posted so you know which ones you still need to go back and cross post to it's just something I really really like so let me just show you some of the other things that are available here with flip if you're not interested in any of this stuff you can stop watching now make sure you hit that like button hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed um, but they do if you sell on Poshmark they have a sharing tool and it says right here I'm connected to Poshmark already and you can share your closet you just have to keep this open all the time so I will say that this is something that works really good on Chrome um, I, there's not a plugin like with this perfectly you needed a uh, Chrome extension I have I'm not sure exactly with flip if you can use like down here I have a Firefox if you can use Firefox and so forth I think you can but I haven't tried it yet because I just use Chrome for everything. Uh, so sharing, so you can schedule it to share at a specific time. So let's say you're heading off to work and you have a full-time job and you want to share your closet while you're gone. You can schedule it to share. Let's say you want it to share three times while you're gone. You can say what time do you want it to share. It is 1146 right now. So let's say we want to share it at noon, 12, 0 p.m. Okay, and then we want it to share again at 3 o'clock p.m. And then we want it to share at 5 o'clock on our way home. Now you can have it set up for obviously, you know, morning time and so forth. Oops, I forgot to say okay. No, I said 5 o'clock. <laughs> 5 o'clock p.m. Okay. And then number of items to share, you can share everything. If you unclick this, you can say, okay, only share 10 items, 100 items. I've got like 800 items, I think I'm on Poshmark, so I'm gonna share everything. And then the sharing order, do you want it to just be random? Do you wanna keep the order that you have everything because people like to have everything organized? One time I had it by color. When I was doing just clothing, I would sort it. So if somebody was looking for a blue shirt, they could just go to my blue shirt section. Um, or they can switch the order. So I don't care. Randomize fast or slow. I think slow is good. Uh, if you click on here, you see fast is every three to five seconds. Slow is five to ten. There is things that I think sometimes that Poshmark thinks that it's not you sharing it. So they will pop up with these things that say verify you're a human. Uh, so I think the slow is usually better. If you want, you can share to a party. So I'm going to say go ahead and start. And then it's going to sharing schedule or in progress. Be sure to, the computer stays on, right? You want to make sure you disable your sleep mode and then leave Poshmark open in another tab to avoid getting logged out. So that's what it tells you down below. So it will sit there and it will get ready to share. The other thing you can do is auto offers. When somebody likes your items on Poshmark, you can have them have flip send them an offer so you can say okay send an offer to new likers every five minutes check to see if there's new likers every five minutes you can say to do it every you know 60 minutes so every hour it's going to send offers give them a 10% offer of course you have to do some type of discounted shipping when you send an offer and then do you want to do minimum selling earning type, you know, price earnings, minimum selling price of 10 bucks. So if you have something for $6, it's not going to send them an offer and then exclude items in the last blank days. So let's say you just listed something and you're like, I don't really want to sell anything that I've listed in the last 30 days. I don't want to send an offer. You can do that. For me, I'm okay. I up my price when I sell it on Poshmark because I know I'm automatically going to probably be sending a 10% off discount. So I'm going to say start on this one. And then 
here again it's telling you make sure you keep your computer on leave Poshmark open so you don't get logged out and it's automatic offers to likers is now in progress so it's going to sit there and get ready to send which I don't know how many it will send because I just sent out a bunch this morning manually uh, bulk offers here again you can just do it by bulk offers and you can just send it like that so if you want to just do it like in the morning just send out offers to everybody at once instead of scheduling auto offers this will look every hour to, on the auto offer every 60 minutes it's going to look to see if there's a new like and send out one or you can just do it once a day and just send out to everybody uh, I just recently learned of the ambassador program on Poshmark um, the ambassador 2 program there is a new promoted listings thing on Poshmark and I've been trying to clear out some of my clothing so I thought oh I'll pay for promoted listings if it's going to mean I could possibly clear out something a little faster and I saw that it's in beta mode the promoted listings and you have to be an ambassador too. I'm not that active on Poshmark so I didn't even know they introduced that and I looked at what my rank was on Poshmark to see whether or not I am an ambassador too because it just says ambassador and where I'm lacking is community sharing I'm only halfway through community sharing in order to become an ambassador too so I looked on flip and I saw that they had this community um, the community share button and I was extremely happy so follow let me just go back to this so follow from users so you can like you know you can follow people follow people's closets all that kind of stuff you can set that to automatically follow people who follow you and all that under the community share is you can share count per closet so I'm going to say okay if you go to somebody's closet share five items and then the date range you can I think you can change this right yeah so all right so it's going to take I'm going to go back let's go back over here let's go back to July 1st so it gives it more time frame and then two to four seconds. So I'm going to say this feature will run only once and return activities for the date range you selected. OK, so I'm going to start it. Connecting to Poshmark community sharing in progress. So I am so excited because I can set this up every day. I can just come in here and redo this, let it run. I'll see how long it runs for and hopefully get up to the ambassador to level because then at that point I can hopefully get into that promoted listing section which I'm really excited about all right connections shows that I'm connected and then activity log so here you go this is what they what I have set up and this is what I was playing with recently back last year last week so you can see right now it already showed that just now at 11.52, which is what time it is, I am following all jewels for you. I'm doing community sharing. It has all this stuff. So that's really neat. Then um, you go to analytics. And again, this is something that I said I'm not really using right now. It might be something that I might look to in the future. But you can track what your total revenue is and what your total profit is. This is based on me. It says number of items sold, six. That's because I still need to go back and the stuff I sold over the weekend mark that it, that it sold, which I know it's Tuesday. I really need to do that before I sell, sell in more than one platform. Um, average sale price, 13 bucks. I'm running a huge sale right now, trying to clear out some stuff. But, you know, so they will show you like the number of sold items by marketplace, average sale price by marketplace. Again, I'm, I'm not inputting as much stuff, so you don't really get to see all this stuff versus if I was actually taking the time to input all that stuff. The other thing that they have here on Flip is sourcing. I'm not really that familiar with this. You can get free inventory. You pay zero up front and you sell on commission. I have watched some videos on this. If you're a big Poshmark seller, and I think this is how Flip actually first started, is you can buy items from other sellers or I guess people who don't really want to take the time to sell online so they'll give you their items for free so they're going to clear out their closet or maybe all they want to do is they just love the sourcing they don't want to deal with the listing and packing and selling so they go out sourcing they get the items they ship them to you and you do the selling and then you split the commission so it's 50 percent I think most of the time 
and you can get your items for free so yeah so I don't you have to look into that a little bit more I'm not taking advantage of that because I'm actually trying to get less items listed right now I'm trying to just get through my death pile and then um, and then hopefully not be listing as much so as you can see here cross listing free 100% free right here 100% free cross lister there is no fee at all I highly 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 suggest that you take a look at this if you are not cross posting if you have let me just show you something I'm gonna go to my inventory here on eBay and you will see I still have the list perfectly come on pop up maybe Yes, this right here is going to be log into List Perfectly. I'm still paying for List Perfectly. I canceled it a couple weeks ago, but I just renewed it for the month. So I still have a couple weeks left. Uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to try flip, see what I think. And then if I don't like it, I'll, I will renew, um, go back and start List Perfectly again. But right now, absolutely will I stick with, with flip and not pay the money I was paying for List Perfectly. I am so happy with this. It, I, I, I'm just, I can't even say, I can't believe it's free. I don't know what the catch is. Like, what are they doing? Why is it free? Maybe it's because they make really most of their money from sourcing. And they said, you know what? We're going to go ahead and add these other things. Maybe it's a data grab. That's what I'm thinking. That when you go in there and you show that you sold, um, you know, Fendi pair of sunglasses for this much at, on this on this certain platform. Maybe that's how they're kind of getting data to be able to utilize that for something in the future. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it's free and I like it. If you want to, I again, I'm going to put this code down below. But if you go to joinflip.com slash tools question mark code equals five one eight two four this is my code and I get ten bucks right give your friend access to free tools and you earn a ten dollar Amazon gift card that would be amazing I'd appreciate it if you'd use my code and that's it if you have any questions drop them down below and I would be happy to answer anything that I know there is um, it says get help there is a Facebook group right here you can click on Facebook group and join that Facebook group and people will be posting questions in there and stuff like that that if it's something I can't help you with maybe they can or of course you can always report an issue and contact flip themselves for support everything I've read has been really positive when it comes to getting any support or questions that you may have that flip has been really good with answering those for you so that is it thank you guys so much for watching and get cross posting and up your sales Talk to you later. Bye.